Chris. Well, rain coming down in Glenwood Springs. The city sent us this video. CDOT says I-70 through Glenwood Canyon still closed, but so far there haven't been any mudslides, new ones, or damage. Jamie Leary, of course, joins us live tonight near that closure. And Jamie, they are working on some detours, but it's going to take some time. It will take some time, Karen, especially with all of this rain that continues to fall. The National Weather Service gauges measured about an inch of rain just from overnight rainfall. It's one of the biggest events that we've seen since the damage that we last saw a couple of weeks ago. While it was off and on earlier this afternoon, it's coming down now along with a lot of wind, and officials realize we need an alternative route. It's 2 p.m. in Glenwood Canyon. Just down from his ranch, Jim Bear gave us a look at the biggest slide east of the Hanging Lake Tunnel. Today we've just had light to moderate rain. You can see in this slight area that everything is looking really good. Still, CDOT isn't chancing it. More wet weather is imminent and the closures will continue. Local and state officials are now working together to find a shorter alternative route. There needs to be political will and that was not the case maybe with previous county commissioners. But given recent events, that's no longer the case. Well, from Eagle County and Garfield County's standpoint, it's it's uh, Cottonwood Pass. If nothing else, we have 40,000 people sitting on our side, 40,000 people sitting on the Eagle side that need access back and forth. Right now, Cottonwood Pass isn't a viable option. CDOT has set aside $50 million from the federal emergency funds for research and future construction. The state CDOT's uh, process of studying this and actually ha having a environmental impact statement and letting the public uh, participate is extremely important. Hearing from the, the public in our counties to just, see, and that's just to get it to the county road levels. And if they go with Cottonwood Pass, commissioners estimate CDOT's process, which includes that environmental impact statement as well as construction, could take as long as two years. Reporting live from Eagle County, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.